My name is Alex Claridge. Uh, I am the owner of The Wilderness in Birmingham. I've owned The Wilderness far too long and it's having a pretty detrimental effect on most areas of my life. The biggest challenge in getting any restaurant running is ultimately finding the right team. But I think also it's trying to find trying to find exactly what you want to do and what you want to be when you first set up a restaurant um, of your own. It's, you know, it's dead hard to kind of step away from influences and I guess things you've seen before and try and find something that um, feels more like your own voice. I actively try and avoid anyone else in food. Um, but a lot of the influence for here I try and take from other kind of creative industries, be that kind of music or fashion or, or art really, just because I think it's more interesting to try and take the learnings from, from other things um, and apply that to what we're doing with food and what we want to kind of say with food. The Wilderness has, has always just tried to kind of, in the nicest possible way, do whatever, do whatever we want to do. But I think we've known from the start that we didn't want to kind of compromise, we didn't want to kind of dilute down what we do. For me, I wanted to combine, I wanted to do the best food I possibly could, but I wanted to do it in an environment that, that I'd feel comfy and that I'd enjoy, that, that would play the kind of music I want. And I think that's kind of increasingly been where we kind of fit into that. We are, you know, a slightly more um, unpredictable. I think trying to define success as a restaurant, uh, I measure it on, you know, are my team happy? Like, are my work family good? Do they enjoy what they do? Are the guests happy? Yes. Is there enough cash in the bank account that we can keep doing stuff that makes us and other people happy? Yes. Are we better than we were yesterday? Yeah. You know, that's kind of what, what drives what I want to do with the business. So everything we try to do is, in a fun and a playful way, we try and source the best ingredients we can. We present dishes that are unashamedly, you know, you know I'm trying to do food that in its own way speaks off place, speaks with this city, you know, modern Birmingham food. You know, it's why the menu is eclectic, it's why we're not afraid to use spice, why we're not afraid to kind of take influence from sort of Asian cuisine because this is a melting pot of a city and you know, all the good people in the city embrace that. What I like about Westerns is firstly they're local boys, you know, which is it's great knowing that you, they are just down the road. If you want to have a chat or a conversation you can and the fact that you know, they're open to us having those discussions around, you know, around detail because you know, detail is everything, the ability to you know, when, when you say the word manipulate, people think that's a bad thing, but you know, the ability to manipulate flavour, the ability to understand every part of the process with the ingredients, so you can really focus on what you want from it, whether that is size, whether it's intensity of flavour, you know, all those elements, and, and kind of the more we understand the ingredients we're working with from a chef perspective, you know, the better, the better results we get. Um, and to have that just down the road is, you know, I think a fantastic resource for any of us in the Midlands um, who are, you know, working in this industry.